Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I don't often do these but Onward really is a game that feels like Airsoft. I know that sounds might sound a bit ridiculous until you've actually tried it but it's got a certain Airsofty vibe to it. So that's why it's one of the reasons why I keep doing videos on it and putting it on the channel in between doing the Airsoft and the weapons reviews and everything else. So in this video I'm going to be giving you the top whichever way around that is, the top 10 things that I wish that Onward had. We know that the developer Dante, the one-man band who made this game, is now working at Valve, so we should be expecting lots of cool updates and things like that. But here's the top 10 things that I have I feel that the game could do with, and what it needs, and what a lot of other players in-game that I've spoken to have said, yeah, actually, I think it could do with it, or that would be really cool. So let's keep it quick. Everybody wants quick videos these days, so let's do it quick. Let's jump in. Here's the top 10 things that I think that Onward really needs or could do with to explode it into the atmosphere. So the first one on our list is all to do with the actual map or the iPad. I really wish I had the ability to actually put this thing down. If you imagine you're getting in a certain defensive position, if you could rest this on a wall or something else, you've got immediate intel on where the rest of the team are and the friendlies and things like that. Also, the ability to be able to see somebody else's iPad, I know at the beginning when a friendly brings an iPad up, it would be good if there was two or three of you together and one of you could bring out the map and you'd all be able to look at it rather than all individually having to bring your map out. Now another thing that I really wish we could do is bring the map out without having to put the weapon away. This again would negate that ability to be able to have to unarm myself even with a pistol to bring it up, to bring it back. So that's number one. I wish that the map could have a little bit of an overhaul and the ability to be able to share it and see things a little bit clearer on other people's iPads. Number two on my list is going to be the ability for a new game mode. Now, I would really love a game mode where one person on your team was a VIP and you had to extract them from point A to point B. Or alternatively, another one I think that would work fantastically for Onward is if you had to carry a briefcase. So instead of at the minute going to the Intel and putting it in on the iPad, if there was an actual briefcase that one of you had to carry, meaning that person could only have a pistol, Again, you're going to have to defend and protect that person until they get to the objective. And then in VR, you could have the two hands actually open the case, physically type in a code with the hands, etc, etc. So that would add a real interesting element, I think, to team play, gameplay and onward. That's number two. Number three on my list is going to be grenade spam. Now, this is not really an issue for the majority of the maps, but I have noticed on maps such as Suburbia, a lot of the teams tend to come straight out of their spawns, immediately rush and throw grenades straight across the street. It's not a huge thing because we know that Dante has already said he's going to be looking at things like this and adding new areas to stop this sort of thing. But maybe a, a no grenades or a no friendly fire within the first 10 seconds after the go, go, go really would help with certain parts, especially on that map Suburbia, which is really a fantastic map. Number four on my list is going to be body twisting. Now anybody that's been in this game and played a lot is going to know what I'm talking about. Sometimes the actual body doesn't seem to face the same direction as the head head tracking. So what tends to happen is, is you'll get yourself into a position, you want to use the radio, you go to use the radio and you find out that you, the body pack, the harness, is actually twisted all the way to the side and it makes it very difficult to actually get that radio sometimes and very occasionally trying to get ammo when you're trying to reach down and you can't find it. Apart from that, not, not too many issues at all. As I said, I absolutely love this game, so don't take any of these as negative. But the body twisting and the tracking, especially when prone, and maybe the weapons, sometimes when the weapons are sticking through things, maybe that needs to be looked at at some point. But that's the next issue on my list. Number five on my list is just going to be a couple of suggestions, something that I really, really hope, and probably they're already doing this behind the scenes, but a couple of maps that I just think would be fantastic for this game mode of defense and attack would be a jumbo jet. Pretty much like the one that's in Rainbow Six Siege, where you can get yourself in defensive position, they have to find the bomb. I mean, they could really take that game mode into VR and already you're on to a winner. So things like the aeroplane would be fantastic because we know there's already a, a model of that plane on one of the maps already. 
Second map I would like to see is a skyscraper. Really tight, close corridors in a warehouse or having to work up so that the team stays together. What tends to happen at the minute is either everybody pisses off and does their own thing, or you'll tend to get two and two, which is great. But having a game where the four of you stick together, covering the angles as you move and things like that, really will emphasise that team play, I feel, for onward. Next on my list is something I've actually spoke to Dante about. Dante being the guy that's actually created this game. I spoke to him on Discord about this. The fact that you have to constantly keep bringing out the iPad to see whether your teammates are down or up, injured or where they are, etc, etc. Kind of, it's It kind of like breaks the flow of the game somewhat. So a suggestion I had was possibly a little bit like ST Hood, if you've seen that for armor. The ability to be able to look at your watch and possibly have the circles on the outside of the watch showing you the location of teammates. Now that could show up whether they were in, let's say, 20, 30 yards away it would show up. And it would give a, a rough indication when you hold your watch up on what direction they were at, whether they were up, whether they were down, red for injured, dead, etc, etc. Just a way to try and enforce that team play again and get people to play together rather than all pissing off and nobody knowing whether anybody's alive or dead without having to constantly get on the radio. Is anybody still up? Or bringing the iPad out. Just a suggestion, an SD hood type effect on the watch. Next suggestion I would really love to see is open doors. The ability to be able to open and close doors with the gloves would be fantastic, which could then open up the ability to have breaching charges. You could then get the team to actually stack up and move in together. Things like this I think would really, really add to the team play and the enjoyment of this game, you know, C4, this, etc, etc. Maybe one of you could have a breaching hammer. I'm going back a little bit to like Raven, Raven 06. But you get the idea. Close quarters, 4x4, buildings. In fact, just take Rainbow Six, <laughs> stick it in the onward engine, get Buckley to do his magic. And you can just imagine, you know, being able to reinforce walls, all that sort of stuff. I just think there's a huge opportunity there in virtual reality to do these things and uh, very exciting indeed. Next on my list is weapon resting. Now whether this is going to be actually feasible or even doable in virtual reality of course because we wanted the free will, we wanted the hands free, we wanted to be able to do this and that and now we've got it. But things such as weapon resting would be fantastic meaning if you could rest the front weapon or a bipod like the saw on a wall and then use your free hand to move back to your other controller so it's almost like you're gripping underneath the base of the weapon to steady it. That would be fantastic because I think that really would help as well with the marksmen and the snipers because using the 12x scope really is quite difficult. It's shaking all over as your natural motion and then your hands as well because you've got no physical physical structure to grip the two, two controllers together unless we start getting into weapons mounts. But that's something... Whether they can get that in, I don't know, but that's certainly one thing on my list that I would love to see as a future update in Onward. Next up, another idea that a few people have discussed thinking that would be really, really cool, again, whether this is even doable, would be to bring in inserts at the beginning rather than just blop, plop in there. It'd be cool if you actually started, say, in a mini bird or a black hawk and it came into land and then you jumped out and the game started. Just something to add that next military aspect to it that next vibe to it you know one side could come in by helo the other side could probably come in by a btr you know the door drops at the back and the troops get out i mean just imagine how cool that would be i mean you could take that so much further could we have a um a rope system so that we actually you know you press go 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 in the helicopter and then you come down etc could we have an ability to have a at fog uh, an at gunner you know, on a mini bird and, and this sort of things. And, and there are so many possibilities where this game could go. But that's something that I would really love to see. Actual inserts at the beginning of the level with a bit more open wide maps. And I've already mentioned this one, but we'll put this one anyway. The rescue and extract the hostage option. Currently, there are a few people occasionally that do this. Where they get one of the uh, friendly team, not on the Volk side, the, um, the other side, the Marine Corps side. They then go over to the Volk side and they use them as a hostage. Now, you're not allowed to use your weapons as hostage, you can only use your knife. It's a fantastic game mode, but it very rarely can be set up properly because not many people know how to do it, want to do it, etc, etc. But this is a really great game mode that they can put in. I know Dante is doing co-op AI, which really doesn't interest me in the slightest, but hey-ho, if that's what he wants to do. If it's a hard mode, maybe, but co-op, no, I'd rather play against real players, but that's just another idea on the list. 
So that's been roughly my ten or so different ideas or things that I would love to see implemented into Onward. Of course, there are other things such as AT4s, RPGs, 203s, you know, being able to use smoke rounds and illumination rounds and, you know, more night maps. And, and, but, oh man, the, the ability, the, the really the world is open to what Dante wants to do with this. And vehicles, I think, would be fantastic at some point. Well, how that's going to be implemented, not quite sure. Because, of course, we're just thinking of things like armor. Can you imagine if you took armor into VR, etc., etc.? There's a lot of possibilities here, but I absolutely love Onward. It's probably one of the only VR games that I constantly keep coming back to, and I probably play this game every day for at least half an hour, 20 minutes. Uh, well, hour, 20 minutes. It's one of those games, once you get in and you start playing it, you want more and more and more. Of course, we want more maps, but, you know, Dante's just moved up to Valve, so we shall see what's coming. I hope Valve give him a bit of support rather than just an office and a coffee machine, but who knows what's coming. Love this game. Let me know your thoughts on this top 10 and whether there's anything else that you'd like to see because I do speak to Dante every now and then, so I will put some of his suggestions under his nose, including this video. I've been Paraplays. This has been Onward. Best VR game out there for military shooting and everything else. Fucking love it. Go out, get it, play it, enjoy it. Job done. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>